Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. My voice may sound a bit odd because, you know, I'm feeling a bit under the weather right now. But I'm okay enough to make videos. And I still love making videos for everybody. It's something I rather enjoy. But at any rate, in this video, we find ourselves in Michigan in a uh, court hearing uh, with a sovereign citizen who tries to get one over on Judge Middleton and even threatens to sue the judge. But... You know, the judge is like, meh, whatever. Go ahead and try. So at any right rate, let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. We have Mr. Kirk Jensen here who is unrepresented. Um, Mr. Jensen, would you come up and have a seat? Josh, you kind of inherited this. Uh, Mr. Jensen was originally charged with traffic violations the matter was set for a jury trial for august 16th i believe it was uh we had some of the jurors and we were ready to proceed earlier that week i believe august 14th mr marvin filed a felony complaint uh, based on the same set of facts so the matter was set for a pre-exam conference. Mr. Jensen has made every court hearing, uh, but he did express that he wants to represent himself. I offered to appoint counsel at each stage of the misdemeanor proceedings, and again, in this case, um, but uh, he declined. Well. No shit. So, Mr. Jensen, you still wish to represent yourself in this matter? I wish to have this case completely dismissed. Well, you can wish in one hand and crap in the other and see which gets filled first. Well, everybody feels that way. Everybody else who wants their case dismissed, raise your right hand. Yeah, that's unanimous. So I, that's not up to me. Uh, but the question is, I'm willing to appoint counsel for you. But um, you've represented to me at each stage you wish to uh, represent yourself. I do not wish to have any counsel. All right. Well, then let's talk about where we are. Where's the complaint? The complaint alleges that on or about April 6th in Lockport Township that you did obstruct justice by preferring a counterfeit U.S. passport and counterfeit international driver's license. Well, I remember this case. Uh, the guy claimed to have an international driver's license, but in order to have an international driver's license, but in order to do that, you have to have a valid driver's license from your country or state of residence, which, of course, he doesn't believe in driver's licenses because he's a sovereign citizen and therefore didn't have one. And as a result of that, his trial was scheduled for a few days ago but of course now we're here because he filed this uh, lawsuit so let's carry on shall we the time of a lawful traffic stop an attempt to avoid criminal liability for driving without a license the way that is charged it is a felony punishable by up to five years imprisonment and a fine of up to ten thousand dollars the second count is possession of a reproduced altered counterfeit or forged chauffeur's license, operators or chauffeur's license. That's a misdemeanor punishable by up to a year in jail and a fine of up to $2,000. Count three alleges that you had no valid operator's license, plain old no ops. They're also charged with a civil infraction of no proof of insurance. And I object to those, I object to that being uh, labeled as counterfeit on all of those Dude, this is not the hearing for that. That is for the trial, and you must provide proof that those documents are, uh, in reality, uh, valid. But unfortunately, you've got expert witnesses that can testify that those are not exactly valid 
IDs. So either way, you're screwed without a damn defense attorney, dude. You shouldn't have gone pro se, but I really doubt that even a good defense attorney would be able to help you out on that one, dude, if they were indeed forged. Documents. All right. Mr. O'Bear, do you have any instructions here or a plea offer? Or? So the offer would be if the defendant wanted to plead to count three operating with no license. It's the 90-day misdemeanor. Uh, we would recommend fines and costs. I object to that, and I, I will not consent to that either. All right, let me unpack that a little bit. Objection noted, but not valid at this point, dude. So let's carry on. All right, you're charged with a felony. And you're charged with possession of a false or forged counterfeit license. You're also charged with no proof of insurance. The prosecutor would dismiss all of those charges if you plead to no valid operator's license with a fine and cost. You may be the first person in my 21-year career that objects to having all the felony charges dismissed for a plea to a $200 fine. Nonetheless, um, you object. Um, I object to the fact that it's been labeled as counterfeit. All right, well, they're just willing to dismiss that charge. The allegation in count three is that you are operating a vehicle on a public roadway without having a valid license, sometimes called no ops or no valid operator's license. It's under 257301 of the Michigan Traffic Code. It's punishable by up to 90 days in jail and a fine of up to $100. It carries two points and it goes on your driving record. Um, if you plead guilty to that charge, I'm going to fine you $225. I'm going to give you time to pay it, and the matter will be done. If you don't wish to plead to that, we're going to have a preliminary examination next Wednesday where the prosecutor will attempt to bind you over to circuit court on felony charges and continue the matter for a felony conviction. Hey, Softheart, he's offered you a deal on more than one occasion. You really should take it and uh, run away with it because, well, he, he might not give it to you again. But knowing how these soft tards operate, I don't think that he would want it. He'll take this all the way to trial and gum up the works and everything like that and still get convicted uh, due to his stupidity. Uh, with potential prison sentence. Uh, so his offer is to just be done with all of it for a plea to no valid operators. That's, I frankly was kind of surprised by the generous offer, but that's what it is. Um, so our options are to plead to having no valid operators license. You can even plead no contest. You can plead no contest. You don't admit what happened, but you also don't deny what happened. You allow or accept that a conviction will enter. You and I have a fundamental disagreement about what it means to operate a vehicle or what it means to travel. Uh, but if you want this matter to be over with, you can enter a no contest plea to no valid operator's license. If you want to reap the whirlwind, we can have a preliminary examination next Tuesday afternoon uh, regarding the matter. Um, what would you like to do, Mr. Jensen? I don't uh, accept any of that. All right. The matter will be set for prelim. And just, just to make, make it clear, this would be the third time that a charge of no operator's license has been levied against me, and I'm standing against it because those documents are valid, and I object to them being well, labeled we'll as counterfeit. Well, we'll find out next week. Well, I would love to see that hearing. I mean, it would probably be a lot of uh, funny times coming from that idiot. So that will be Tuesday, September 5th. At 1 p.m. Prelim. All right, your bond is continued. You're free to go. And just to and just a reminder of the 
civil case that is ongoing and those who are named in that yourself and Mr. Marvin as well. Just which, civil, sure that, which civil case is that? Civil case, the notices and all the recusals and everything that's been filed into this case that I've been filing in. Just to make note of that, that it is you know, on the record. Well, let's take a look. Oh, you filed a August 28th, which is yesterday. I got this. I didn't see it. Uh, objection to the report recommendation in the matter of civil case. Uh, you filed this in federal court? This was done in a federal court. It has a federal case number on it. And all the defendants are listed. All right. Uh, Along with the notice. Oh, it's great pleadings. It cites Abraham and the Book of Nations and a bunch of other jabberwocky. Uh, but it has been filed in the federal court. Uh, all right. That's all a matter of record. It's in the file. And uh, you've even got Hebrew uh, letters in here. Okay, uh, I'll see you next uh, Tuesday at uh, 1 o'clock. Uh, Jabberwocky nonsense, huh? Uh, I guess Chile de Castro wrote that legal document for you, in which case you're screwed either way, so I don't think it'll go much further than that. Your Honor? Yes? Yes? I'm, I'm Mr. Jensen's uh, transportation. And, yes. Uh, that would dump the matter on Judge Pattison, which I'm sure he would greatly dislike. Okay. So uh, I'm sorry, but we'll leave it, it for that be, date. It would be the sixth that would work. I'm open to any date at this point. Um, we schedule things at certain times and everything affects everything else. Uh, so no, it's next Tuesday. You could be done with this for $225. And uh, so we'll be next Tuesday, sworn testimony in court uh, regarding this matter. You wish to not have counsel and we'll continue that. Um, I'll make further record at this point. I'm declining to recuse myself. Um, this is just a straightforward matter. All right, next Tuesday, one o'clock. You can make your way here somehow. If you need a bus pass, I'll give you that. All right, you're free to go. Yeah, your threat of a lawsuit looks like it had no effect on this judge whatsoever. I'm willing to bet that since he is uh, trained in the law and everything like that, he knows what the deal is and he knows what a legal document should look like. He knows all that stuff. So yeah, trying to get one over on him like that, not exactly going to work, dumbass. But at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next.